Hey guys, I am coming back to you today showing you some uh, Dooney and Burke bags. Um, I'm showing you four out of my collection of Dooney's because two of them I've used before and two of them are new. Um, the first two in the front, the La Cobo and the City Barlow, um, I've already used. I've had these bags for a while now. Um, the Pink Hobo, it's called the La Cobo online. I believe it's La, La Cobo or... Um, Dooney and Burke lock um, that was a gift and I've had it at least three or four years and no at least three years and then the city Barlow which is the round one here in the front the cream one um, I've had since last year it'll be a year in September um, so let me get started and telling you and then I want to review it to the two newer ones from this year um, and why I'm reviewing them that even see if I'm going to keep the newer ones so this here is the city lock um, what I like about this bag, of course, is the lock feature. Very, very sturdy on the front. It has the Dooney emblem. And on the back, it does say Dooney and Burke in cream and gold. Um, nice clasp feature. And I'm generally not a hobo bag um, girl, but like I said, this was a gift. Um, and it has served me very well. It does have feet on the bottom, as you can see the spot here. Um, that I've worn this bag, but that's, you know, after three years old. Um, so I am very hard on my bags when I do wear them. And this bag actually started my pink journey because I started getting into the color pink. So um, the bag is slouchy when nothing's in it, which I don't like. But what I do like about Dooney and Burke bags is that the inside always, um, or many of them should, I should say, come with the red interior lining. I do love that feature about Dooney and Burke bags. Um, they do come with the clasp inside where you can uh, attach a set of keys or your little um, wallet or coin case. And the other thing that Dooney and Burke never fails with is that they always come with a dust bag. Um, I know that's important to a lot of um, ladies, so I've never ever, whether it's outlet or whether it's online, I've never purchased or received a Dooney bag without um, that dust bag so that's a great feature so back to the inside of the bag this particular bag the hobo is lined inside with the letter leather that's on the outside it's a pebble leather let me try to zoom in so you can see that it's a pebble leather again I'm generally not a hobo girl but I'm also generally not a pebble leather girl I really have to like the bag so um, if the other features outweigh what I don't like then I generally keep the bag and in this case I love that it has three pockets one two three on the inside actually four here's another one here um, as well as the zipper pocket it does say Dooney and Burke here on the inside and I don't have a matching wallet to this one so I just have a couple of coin purses in here that I use from Amazon um, I will eventually get a matching purse to this one um, I just hadn't so that's the Dooney and Burke lock like I said um, it's a nice, sturdy, heavy bag. I'm not sure if you know, Dooney and Burke bags do tend to be heavy, but that doesn't deter me. I like sturdy bags. I'm very hard on them. Um, and for the money spent, I think they're well worth it. So that's the Dooney um, lock. Now, the newer Dooney lock, or I don't know if I should say newer, but the one that I just purchased this year um, is another Dooney lock. The difference in this Dooney lock and the Dooney lock that I already had is that it's smaller or I should say it's two inches shorter if I lay them flat here I'm gonna try to see see if you could see it this here from top to bottom actually let me hold it up is about two inches taller so if you sit them next to each other mm, maybe not to me it seems a little bit taller maybe I thought that when I first purchased the turquoise one um, See, unfinished or unfilled, the pink one is slotchy, and look how that looks as opposed to when it's filled with things. The turquoise one is still stuffed. They both do still have feet, and in this case, the turquoise one has the brown additional leather part where the feet are, where the pink one is just um, all of the color pebble leather. And again, they're both pebble leather. The great thing I like about this blue pebble leather one is that it has the brown leather on it i didn't think i would like that um and the reason i purchased this bag 
when I looked at it online, it looked light blue. As you can see, and hopefully it shows on camera, it's actually turquoise or like a, like a sky blue or a horizon, not a sky blue, it's like a horizon blue as opposed to a light blue. However, um, I do like the fact that um, it has the sturdy handle, which makes the bag sit up, unlike the pink one, like I said, which tends to slouch. Well, maybe not. It does look slouchy when nothing's in it. The features additionally that came with this um, Dooney Lock bag is that it was only about 129 bucks, and it also came with this makeup bag, which I haven't opened, and it also came with a key fob. I thought those were two really great features that it came with being that this bag was on sale and then what I ordered separately which was only I think $29 or $19 was this coin case slash um, card holder and it does have a really 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 good zip on it nice zip the tags are in my way but nice really good zip I haven't had any bad luck with um zips on doonies ever um so i've always been a dooney a dooney and a michael kors girl but more so doonies because they're sturdy um and they they hold up to me tossing the bags around so um again the other feature is that it has this fob here or this lock where you can attach actually the uh, card case where you can attach the makeup bag or your keys and then the inside part of the bag there's the there's the dust bag. The inside part of the bag is red as well, just like the pink one. Um, the only thing that's different on this, the pink had the leather lining around the zip and around the pockets. As you can see, this one does not. So don't like that feature. Um, again, I've had this bag probably a month. I, I have until July 2nd, I believe, to send it back or July 4th, something like that. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the bag. I thought it was light blue. I don't like that it's turquoise. Um, I'm not sure that I'm going to use it as much as I use my satchel bags. Um, however, I said the same thing when I got this pink one. And because it was a gift, I kept it. And it served me well. So those are the differences of the hobo. And it's called Lock Hobo on Dooney. Now, going to the City Barlow bags. These are City Barlow. Let me try to get a better view. City Barlow. These are round bags. And guys, I will tell you when I do my full Dooney um, review, my full Dooney bag um, review for you or full Dooney bag um, that I have in my collection, I love this style. I just really, really, really love this style of Dooney. Um, it's a hobo bag, but it is a, sa a satchel. I'm sorry. It's not a, it's a hobo satchel. I guess you'd call it round in um, nature. It is open in the top. However, it's got nice, sturdy uh, claps or magnets there that hold all three pockets. And guys, I love a pockets like this. If a satchel is closed with a zip at the top, I love a pocket on the outside. Not necessarily a zip pocket, but just a solid pocket. If it's a hobo like this, I love the feature of having three pockets on the inside. Before I get to the inside, I want to show you the bottom. Five feet. Not four, five. So that's the reason that I've purchased so many of these bags in different colors and different styles. Guys, these come in smooth leather, Safiano leather, which this is. They come in pebble. They come in the signature DB with the DBs on them. Um, they come in patent, and I do have all of them. So when I, again, when I do my Dooney and Burke collection, I'll show you. But I just wanted to show you the bottom, the feet. I love this fifth... Uh, foot here at the bottom what happens there is it helps the bag not to hit the floor or the a table in the middle like my hobo did where it has now a stain here because I guess this bottom piece was hitting whatever it rubbed against and it made a stain here where it has a fifth foot it won't do that hopefully it won't do that my, my cream one hasn't now I will show you what my cream one has done but I'm going to get some leather cleaner you see that pin mark there I'm not sure if it's because it's the soft, uh, smooth Safiano leather. It has some pen marks or some stains maybe from denim. Um, however, I've had this bag going on a year. And that's the only thing that I see on this bag. So with the cream bag, and I've worn this bag quite a bit to work in other events. So 
Um, with that being said, if that's the only thing that's wrong with that bag, I'll, I'll say that's good. The other thing about the bag is that it has the DB. Instead of saying Dooney and, uh, Dooney and Burke on a small logo or just DB, it has the Dooney and Burke written out um, embossed in gold on the front of the bag. So I do like that feature. Now let's get into the inside of the bag. The bubblegum pink, guys, again, I bought this one because I was trying to decide if I was going to keep it. I am a pink girl. I love to have a pink purse in any style bag that I get. Um, still deciding, still debating. Um, let me tell you the inside. Again, all doonies come with the little clasp in case you want to attach a uh, coin purse or a wallet or some keys. I want you to hear something. Those metal clasps are very sturdy. Um, they don't pop open for me generally, um, even when the bag is filled. Now, I know I mentioned that um, the bag generally has red inside, right? I'm going to take this stuff in out because I usually stuff my bags. I know I mentioned that I like the red interior of a bag. This one happens to be white. So even though it has pockets with the leather, leather around it, right, I did not like the fact that it was um, cream inside. But, you know, no big deal. It served me. Um, it did its thing. So it does have the one, two, three pockets inside as well as a zip. I don't generally use the zip, so that's why it's still a little rough there. And then the outside. Now, the outside feature goes down to about half, maybe three quarter way of the bag. What I generally put on those outside pockets are my keys, a phone, hand sanitizer, um, things that I can get to readily. Um, what I generally put on the inside will be my wallet, my makeup bag, um, an iPad maybe if I had, you know, if I had to take one magazine or book, my journal, things like that. Um, so again, just love this style bag because it's a hobo and it is a satchel at the same time um it does have the feature here on the side where you can attach the uh strap if you want to cross by it body it i don't cross body bags if they're this big because i'm short and i think they're a little bulky so i just tend to wear them as a hobo just like it is just like so and i love it i love when the feet on the bag, I can hear it hit the, hit a table or a counter if I sit it on, um, and I just love this style bag. So, just wanted to show you some differences. Like I said, that's the Dooney City bag. That's the cream or bone. Um, I did order bubble gum this year. Um, I've ordered several other colors or styles of this particular version. This version is the regular city. It's medium size. Um, they do have a large city that's about yay higher and about yay bigger. I don't, uh, yeah, I do. I have two of those. Um, I haven't used them yet. And then I have um, a patent leather, which is called a Brenna, B-R-E-N-N-A. Um, and then I have some signature ones. So they all are, some of them are a little bit taller and thinner. Um, they have mini versions and then they have larger versions. versions. But overall, I love this style Dooney and Burke bag. And again, I'm trying to debate if I should keep the bubblegum pink. Um, it's a bubblegum pink. I'm not sure if I'm going to have anything to match it. I always say that, right? But then I wind up keeping the bag. So hopefully, guys, you like the review. Um, again, this was just the review of the Dooney and Burke lock or Dooney and Burke city bags. Let me know in the comments what you think, if you have any. And thanks again for reviewing. Have a great day.